Okay guys, so welcome back to the next video for the PS4 jailbreak for 4.05. So in this video I'll actually be showing you guys how to run the exploit. Now please keep in mind that you need a PS4 that's on firmware 4.05 or a PS4 that's on firmware prior to 4.05 so that you can update it to the 4.05 firmware and jailbreak it from there. Now, if you guys already have one that's on the correct firmware, you guys can skip ahead a little bit. I'll uh, put um, a note here the way to skip to. If you guys need to update your PS4 firmware, I'll quickly explain a little bit about that on how to update to 4.05. So, firstly, you'll need to download the update file. So, I've got here on my old video a couple here. So, you can go to GBA Temp or you can go to SCE Party, whichever one you like more. Um, both of them uh, so actually have the 4.05 firmware hosted so I think I downloaded mine from here so you can go and download the full version if you have to install it from recovery or you can download the update version if you can install it from the home screen so if you see here he's got all the versions with the SHA or sorry with the MD5 checksums so I will just show you mine for example the one that I have um, where are we? Here you go. So I've got PS4 update.pop, which is the uh, which is a small one. So if we go here and I show you my um my hashes, you can see here this is my MD5. So if I copy it and I go in here and go Control F, it's the same, which means that it's the right file. Nothing dodgy going on there. So. Yep, you can download that and uh, you can install it by going into the home menu. Let me see if I can show you how to do that now. So you go into the home menu, then you go up and then you go all the way down to settings. Now just bear with me because I'm doing this on the screen with you guys and it's a little bit slower for me. So you're going to want to go in here and scroll down until you see update. should say system software update. And um, also make sure your PS4 isn't connected to the internet if you're doing this because you're going to have to go in there and then you're going to have to see how it's reading. See for me it's found 4.05 because I'm connected to the internet. You, you don't want to do that. So go cancel if it's, sorry, if it's showing you 5.03. But um, if you've got your uh, firmware on the USB already, which um, I'll show you how to do now, it will come up showing you the 4.05. So make sure your PS4 isn't connected to the internet, otherwise you'll probably have to do this through recovery and you'll need to find an alternate firmware file. So let's go back here. The way that you're going to do it is, I'll show you now. So let's say you plug in your USB and um, you have the root of your USB. So as soon as you open up, should I, it might have some files in there, it might not. You're going to want to make a folder that's named like this, PS4 in caps. Then inside it, you're going to want to make a new folder and it's going to be named update okay like that and then you want to get your update file from here or wherever you've got it from you want to copy it and you want to paste it in an update folder make sure it's named ps4 update.pop okay it can't be named anything else otherwise it won't work so when you've got that you put it on the usb make sure your playstation is not connected to the internet of course um, if you're doing it from the home menu and you can do it like that Otherwise, if you're doing it in recovery mode, it's a bit different. You can actually put any firmware in that's later than the one that you've got on your um, console and it will install it off the USB since it's recovery mode. But I am not going to be able to show you that just because of the way that my PS4 is and I actually can't turn it on and off from the power button because it's like half broken. So it's pretty good for testing out stuff like this. Um, but yeah, so I can only really turn it on with my controller if anyone was interested. But let's go back to what we we're doing so now I'm gonna show you how to run the exploit so you're gonna need a couple files firstly I have downloaded this tool which is actually pretty helpful it's a netcat but it's a GUI version so I'll put a link here to the NGU page you guys just need to make an account to download the files otherwise it'll come up here without you know without letting you download it but um, yeah, you should be able to download the files once you've logged in. And then after that, that's all you need for the way that I'm going to be doing it. If you want to host your own web server and do it yourself like that, I won't be showing you that just because with my computer, 
it doesn't seem to work because my ports are blocked I think so it's, it's not working very well across my network but I can connect to an external network and do it which is what I'm going to do so mine's going to be web based and this is probably easier for you guys as well if you um if you have like what's it called um like, like a brand new ps3 or ps4 sorry that hasn't connected to the internet and you need to do it through the service like guide so there's ways to do it where you go to youtube then you type in youtube google link and you find a video that's got the google link in the description and then what you can do is you can go into google so here i'll show you how you can pretty much do it on the ps4 but on my computer so let's say we're at youtube all right on the youtube website so you click into the playstation video then you finally get into youtube you can type in google link okay and then you can see this guy here it's got a link in the description so you just click on that with the ps4 then you scroll down click google and now we're at google and then we're going to go to console hacks website so you type in console hacks like that and you're going to go to his website like so and then what you're going to do is you're going to come up here to playstation hacks just hover over it and then you're going to click on the Spectre 4.05 now I won't do it because I'm on my computer but I will show you how to do it on the PS4 now and um, then I'll show you how to actually run the payload so what we're going to do is we'll go over to the PS4 and I'll make that full screen so you guys can see now we're going to go over to the web browser Now if you've got the normal web browser like me, you can just open it up. I've got the web page saved already. So this will come up when you try and access the web page and you click on that link that I showed you. And um, just go yes. So see how it goes HTTP consolehacks.com spectre. So see how it says now it's waiting for the payload. So that means that this has worked correctly. If, um, if you have access to just put in the HTML hyperlink, you can just do that. Just write what's in there. You guys have plenty of time to uh, take that in and write it. Uh, pause the video if you need to, of course. And now what we're going to do is we are going to run the actual script. We're going we're gonna to put it over here. So what we're going to do is you need to go into the folder with the stuff that you've downloaded. And I'll give you a link to the actual files now that you need to download as well sorry I did forget to give you these files so on my other video as well I've got it here the developers github so we're going to want to go in there if you haven't already got his github cloned you can go down here and where is it yeah so he's got a sample payload here if you click on that we'll get to download the sample payload which is all we need so you click there it says preparing download just download it and save it into the folder I've already downloaded it so I'm gonna go to it now so I've got my payloads folder here actually I won't use that one so I've got the debug settings here as well so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get netcat so you've already downloaded it, it'll come into a zip file like that you just open it up and extract that folder to your desktop like I have here or to wherever you want to extract it really it's up to you it'll look like this inside, you're going to open it up and now you're going to type in your PS4's IP address so if you don't know how to check that um, a couple ways you can go about it but I'm not too sure how you'll do it I just use an app on my phone called Fing it's F-I-N-G um, you can look it up if you want it's on the Google Play Store I'm not sure if it's available for Mac users but you can also check on the um, actual PS4 itself I might, I might show you guys how to do that while I'm here I might as well show you how to get your IP if you don't know how to so if you go into network settings let's go So network, and then you go <coughs> into view connection status, and it'll tell you your IP there. 
see how it says that your IP is 192.168.1.253 for you will probably be something different but um yeah that's how you connect to it with this see how it's the same okay so it is 253 and what you want to do is you want to change the port here to 9020 and then what we're going to do is we're going to get the payload so debug settings dot bin so what I'll do is I'll put this here so you can see what's happening at the same time might as well make it full screen why not put that there make it a bit smaller for you guys and we'll put netcat over here so we're going to copy and drag and drop that into there and you're going to go inject payload so as you can see nothing is really going to show up on the PS4 but what we're going to do now is we'll exit out of it out of the web browser so just press back until you go home and then go up into settings so I'll move this now so you can see what I'm doing in settings and you're going to scroll all the way down and there's your debug settings and that just proves to you that the proof of concept is working everything is working you can go through these yourself and take a look at them but um, yeah apart from that that's it this is probably one of the first payloads there are there's other ones to get FTP access but I might be making a video about that soon a separate video while I'm here I might as well show you how to get your IP if you don't know how to so if you go into network settings let's go So network and then you go <coughs> into view connection status and it'll tell you your IP there see how it says that your IP is 192.168.1.253 for you will probably be something different but um, yeah that's how you connect to it with this see how it's the same now um, if you guys have any further questions please feel free to let me know in the comment box down below if there's anything that you want to know about this exploit let me know as well I'll try my best to help you out um, yeah pretty much stay tuned for more because there's going to be a lot of content coming out for this this is actually developing quite quick a lot quicker than um, other exploits have um, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a rate comment subscribe peace out guys Thank <laughs> you.